Hi guys, I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. While me and my dog are just sitting here resting in between my appointments and uh, making videos for YouTube, I thought that I would go ahead and take the opportunity to um, connect with you guys and just teach you one of the many different ways of connecting with your root chakra and your earth star chakra. Um, just one form of healing it. We are going to just really basically expand it. Imagine, you know, just seeing it there and expanding them. And uh, that's just one thing that you can do on a daily basis with each one of your chakras. And it is very beneficial. The more that you do that, the more that you stay in balance, the more things just flow. But anyway, so let's just go ahead and close our eyes and first um, just set the intentions that we are going to connect with heal, release any blockages within both the earth star and the root chakras. That whatever knowledge needs to come forward at this time that we need to connect with so that we may do that, that that will happen. And what we're going to do first is we're just going to go ahead and relax our mind a little bit. So you may want to turn on some sort of music or you may already have some music on. I don't have any on in the background right now. But uh, connect with your breathing. Just pay real close attention to how your breathing is. If it's too fast for what you think it should be for meditating, then try triangle breathing. That's breathing in for five seconds, holding for five seconds, and then exhaling for five seconds. Or you can do square breathing. Breathe in for five seconds, hold for five seconds, let out for five seconds, hold again for five seconds. That's usually the one that I do. So let's just go ahead and do that here for just a little bit. doesn't take very long. So while you're taking these breaths in, I want you to start focusing on the earth star chakra. This is a chakra that's about eight to 10 inches below your feet it is connected with the earth. This is a chakra that sends our information to the earth, helps ground us, helps us to stay balanced and connected with nature and just, um, our energy being balanced and things of this sort. So I just want you to imagine that there is a portal underneath your feet that is starting to open most of the time i will see like metallic pastel looking colors that are starting to spin most of the time they're spinning in a counterclockwise direction as if there's like a tornado with the the uh the top of the tornado you know being right there at our feet and i can see it getting wider and wider i see the the shorter part of the vortex or tornado looking energy going down into the center of the earth where I see it just connecting and rooting in whatever way it's looking for you. That's fine. Just take the time to do that while still focusing on your breathing. You may even see a different color that's representing your earth star or even multiple colors it's whatever there's no wrong or right thing whatever yours looks like it looks like now i want you to go ahead and focus on the root chakra area this is right at the base of your spine it is a red chakra first i just want you to imagine a bright red ball of light there if you're having a hard time imagine a, a bright red ball of light it's because there's blocks there there is some sort of energy that is keeping it from being bright so what we're going to do at this time is we're just going to set intentions on clearing out any kind of blockages, implants, any kind of energetic attachments that may be attached to our root chakra at this time. Some of you may start to have memories that flood in or some sort of thoughts that flood in about, um, you know, different things that you may not be stable in, whether it be your home life, finances, career, relationships, romantic partners. Um, your health, you name it, whatever you may not feel stable in, this is the chakra that would, you know, kind of control that. 
So just keep imagining expanding it. You can imagine using your hands and expanding it and pulling it out in all directions. Just imagine blowing it up in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you are imagining a flower being there and expanding and opening and blooming and being really bright red. But just keep doing that until you start to see that bright red light in your mind's eye. You know, your thoughts are capable of seeing a bright red spot. I like to imagine it spinning in all, all directions. Like the energy is just so fluid that it just is constantly moving in different directions. Or you can imagine it's going counterclockwise or clockwise. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I also sometimes will just say I intend on it spinning in the correct direction. So whatever the correct direction is for you at this time is the direction that it'll start spinning. You may even feel that shift as it starts to spin. Once you get it to that place of being bright red, just imagine expanding it out into your auric field. You know, it is your part of your auric field, but, you know, like spreading it out to where it's not just inside your physical human body, but taking it on the outside of your physical body. You just intuitively will know how far to bring it out. You don't want to take it out too far, but you don't want it to be too close to your body either. You want it to connect with all, all that's around, you know, all that is. Let's just take it a step further, you know, now that we've got it bright red and spinning and expanded. Let's just go ahead and root this in through the Earth Star. So we just want to imagine seeing roots starting to form out of this red ball and just going between our legs down into the earth star starting to spin as it's going in through the earth star and connecting into the center of the earth where um, you are going to start uh, seeing your roots start to spread this time they may spread a little bit further and a little bit wider maybe you might even feel as if they go throughout the whole entire planet or something you know, there's multiple ways of experiencing this, but just go ahead and send those roots down. Take it a step further and imagine pulling energy from the center of the earth up. Sometimes I'll imagine like there's a diamond there only because I feel intuitively led to think that there's a diamond there. Or maybe I'll, I'll think of fire or a puddle of water or some sort of big cavern of water that I'm supposed to pull up into my roots. So whatever it is that you're intuitively feeling at this time that you need to pull up into your roots and you pull that up in there. If it's fire, then it's to burn away all of these blockages that are still left over. If it's water, then it's going to neutralize. It's going to bring you balance, it's going to bring you some sort of calmness. If it's just, you know, just energy of a diamond, then you might be awakened uh, to some sort of diamond uh, activations to your DNA or cellular structure or what have you. You may even start to, to see the energy uh, of your root chakra starting to uh, send waves out in all directions or, you know, it, so many different mm -hmm. things can happen. The more that you connect with things like this and do this with each of your chakras and just be creative with how you connect with them and how you expand and heal them. There's no wrong or right way. The more that you be creative, the more that you start to get into and tap into the uh, third eye and crown chakras, those places that will show you exactly what you can be doing or giving you insight into how you can be doing healing or expanding or what have you. But the more that you do this, the more that it awakens you to that um, interaction with the third eye crown chakra and your heart chakra, know the knowings that, that come along with it. I hope that you guys got something out of this healing exercise, whatever you want to call it, for the root chakra and earth star chakra. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know down in the comments below if this uh, healing or meditation resonates with you, if you got anything out of it. And then make sure to just put the date next to your comment. That way you can be entered in to win a free full reading with me at the end of the month. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Much love. Bye.